Welcome back to another book club scope. This week we are continuing on our conversation about the book Rest Assured by Vicki Courtney. And this book is a recovery plan for weary souls. And today we're going to be talking about worry and how to stop worrying. So good morning for those of you who are new. My name is Crystal Payne and I'm the founder of MoneySavingMom.com. And every week or most every week, we go through um, a book. And this week we are doing the book, or we're continuing on with the book Rest Assured by Vicki Courtney. And this book is a recovery plan for weary souls. And um, this chapter is chapter four. I have a little visitor that's coming to join me. Okay, come sit with me. Um, don't make any faces, okay? This chapter is about worry, and it's called Worried Sick. Let me get that one. Okay. Oops, we got to get that one. Okay. All right. And I thought there were some really good quotes in here. It says, this is the problem with worry. Oftentimes, we suffer from a skewed perception gap in which our level of worry far exceeds the odds of the perceived outcome becoming a reality. Worry does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. Worry has no value. If you and I want to find rest for our souls, we must first acknowledge that when we worry, we are refusing to recognize that God is ultimately in control. At the core, worry boils down to a matter of trust. Do we really trust God in any and every situation? Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. This is the path we need to take. When we get caught up in a spin cycle of worry, we can immediately turn to prayer. We can transform our worries into prayer wrapped up in a spirit of thanksgiving. So how do you stop worrying? You not only acknowledge that God is ultimately in control and you can completely trust him for everything. You acknowledge that worry has no value, and then you turn that worry into praise and prayer. Look for the blessings around you. Pray about the situation, and then just let it go, because so many of the things that we worry about are unfounded, and we're just wasting our time. So instead, put that time into something productive, like prayer and praise. So that's what I want to share with you today. This is from Rest Assured by Vicki Courtney, and tomorrow we will be in Chapter 5. So have a great day.